All right, I'm live. Hey, everybody. Hope everybody's well. This is Dr. Issa, AKA E41. You see, I got the technology now. I'm so excited that um, I'm now live. You know, I want to give a shout out to my brother, Sarnetta, for helping me out, encouraging me to do this, and just encouraging me that I have a voice in this. And uh, thank you, Brother Sarnetta. Um, I know you're out there listening. And uh, thank you for all the work and dedication. Um, I, I'm going to deal with this controversial topic um, called, it's called, um, was, or rather is, um, if, if, if Jesus is black. And um, I just want to see, you know, where people are. There's some information out there. And those that know me, you know that I'm, I'm, I'm deeply into the religion, um, the African origins of the Bible, and that a lot of this is coming out of Africa. And I'm just going to spend about 15 minutes on the subject and um i want to see you know what 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 people got to say you know um and i'm excited so let, let's let's go on with it let's go all right let, let's deal with this let's deal with this issue right all right so i'm going to share this screen with you um and some of you may know some so know this information you may not some of you may know this information and some of you may not this information good for you out here who don't know this information all right, so this screen with you. Give me one second. Just got it. Boom. All righty. One second. And here it is. All right. Boom. Got it. Got it. All right. This is a um uh Buddhist. Wait, let me get out of this again. Let me get all out of this. Uh, let me get out of this. Was Jesus back? Let me do this right. Do this right. All right. No, this is going to be interesting. It's going to deal with this for about 15 minutes because um, a very special guest coming in um, in a little at one o'clock, but I just wanted to share this information. I did a, a lecture in North Carolina called The African Origins of the Bible. Those who know me, you know that I'm always that you can't understand the Bible unless you have an understanding of history and culture. And even with that said, you need to have a, a deeper understanding of culture. It's almost impossible. So right here, this is a picture. Now, Dr. Celine Fergie, this is the oldest known picture of Jesus, right? Right here. 
I think y'all can see that. And this is the oldest picture that we have. And this is taking, uh, this was found in Kemet. Myself and Dr. Ferd. And his disciples. He's an African. Look at him with an Afro, heavily melanated disciples that they, they have on. Look at the cloth that they have on, right? I want you to look at the cloth. If I can get out of that. Yeah, there you go. Look at the cloth. That's the earliest picture. We are dealing with this. And I, I want people to see this. This is very, very important. I'm only going to spend about 10 more minutes on it. And then I'm going to move to something else. I'm going to show you something else, right? This is the oldest picture that we have question ourselves as to these other pictures. Found in Kemet, in Egypt, museum in Cairo, Egypt. I saw it with my own eyes. Right? So let me get out of that and show you this. All right? Let me see if I can get out of this. Uh, and let me open up this other screen on And some of you are going to be kind of amazed. I know you haven't heard this because I haven't taught you. Um, and I used to teach this in my undergrad classes and graduate level courses on um, African history and religion at um, Elizabeth City State University and Delaware State University. I taught this. I'm going to bring this to you as to why we are so confused. Those of us who are, who are Christians, right? Let me square to share this screen with you. And I want y'all to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be giving stuff like this in the future. Is this it? Yeah. All right. How many of you have ever heard of this? This Solomon um, is called New York Times article who rendered Jesus for the age of duplication. And the New York Times 1994 with the race for the best known artists of the century nearly over um, Pablo Pia um, Picasso and Andy Warhol um, neck and neck. Then it goes down to say, he said, they, they say officially title is made all three are likely to be buried in a landslide vote for Warner Solomon. He died in 1968. And I just want you to see this, to do your own research. 
right? Because I'm going to show you some other stuff. It says that um, in 68 was a religious painter, an illustrator, a picture, head of Christ, achieved a mass popularity. Hey, this is for my brothers and sisters in Africa, too. And I'm going to do a more detailed to talk about um, Kemet and Nubia and Asa and Haru. Let's start with what, where we, where we, what, what we think we know. All right, tens of thousands of wallet-sized copies were distributed to servicemen during World War II in the mid 1950s. All right, Solomon um so for backlighted Jesus with a flowing shoulder length hair grazing from the, the Inspira clock and Inspira lamp, all right? The image lives, the image lives even today. And I want us to um, look at this article. Um, I want you to look at this article. And I want you to ask other people to subscribe. You say I'm an elitist, but you still follow me. Thank you. <laughs> I want to share this information. I want to share my more than 15 years of research collegiate level. I want you guys to do this yourself. I want you to ask other people on my channel because I'm going to be dropping some information all right now this guy 500 million copies this was in 1994. i'm gonna get out of this all right because i only have another five minutes seven minutes something else this is the guy who painted many of the pictures we think uh, now, I know a lot of people in the conscious community know this isn't true, right? But a lot of people are not in the conscious community and really just don't know, right? But this is Solomon. He's the one that rendered Christ. The picture of Jesus that you see all over in black churches, all over in Africa, all over in Europe, right? But I'm going to show you an image that's going to kind of, I hope, it may interest you, interest you. I hope so. So let me get out of this one. Stop it. Let me pull up this other image. Because I want us to know. I want us to know the truth. This is a very short video again. All right. So let me share this video. Let me this screen right here. How do we go to the African to this? These are the pictures right here. Let me share this with everybody. Let me share this. Y'all can see that? All right. I want to share this with everybody because Brother Greg, Priest, Brother Hassan, and all of those out there, everybody, simply because there's a lot of misinformation out there. See this guy? This is the picture that's in your church, in your wallet. I know some of y'all got this picture in y'all wallet. I know you got it in your picture, but that ain't Jesus, right? That ain't the African during the first, second, and third century that people were worshiping. Name is Jesus is debatable. 
is most definitely not the same person that we're talking that we saw in the early picture, earlier picture. I wanted to talk about this for a second. Now, now check this out. All right, I want you to look at this. This is these are all by the guy who Solomon Warner. Now, I want you to look at this. Let me now look at this. Stop this and share one more image. And I want you to look. Now, this is Solomon Warner right here. This is him that drew this picture right here. Right? You see? He drew this. That's him. And if you notice, um many of the images that he drew but these are the images that we have in many of our churches we don't have the original one that i showed earlier look at this and look at this this is a younger version of him so, i mean warner solomon right so guys this I wanted you to have some knowledge and I'll do a more entailed illustration on this I may even bring in Dr. Salim Farji I was just on the phone with him and talk about this in detail and uh, um, thank you for tuning in for tuning in to Dr. Jahi Issa, AKA, AKA E41. Ask other people to subscribe. People. I want people to be knowledgeable. And uh, thank you. I'm getting ready for my interview with Dr. Ada Fisher, the most powerful black woman in America behind Amarosa. I just want her to talk about her life story where she thinks black America is headed. She's the chairwoman of the Republican Party from North Carolina. And no, I'm not a Republican, I'm a Democrat, but I'm an informed Democrat. Permanent friends, no permanent enemies, just permanent interests. E41, Dr. Jackie Issa, AKA, um, help me um, get subscribers. I'm gonna to come to you hard like this with real information on various sub subjects and topics. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I got a few people on my live chat. <laughs> Somebody said Jesus isn't real. That's not the point, All right? The point is that I want you to be familiar with this information, All right? We know that Historically, the probably the name was probably not that, but historically there were people at that time period who were coming through saying that they were this Messiah, and it's a deeply African. Um, Dr. Fergie has written a seminal um, article on the subject of this concept of the Messiah within the Nubian people. People, and this the Nubian people doing Roman occupation but it's not my expertise. I don't have any peer review publications on it. So I, I, and if I know someone I want to talk about it, Dr. Fergie has agreed. And we're gonna come and talk about this later on. All right, yeah, I gotta get off and get ready for my next interview in about, peace.